So for today, we're going to be reviewing the Guardian Games 2023 set. Uh, I have the Guardian Games 2022 set as well. I will be re reviewing that in a separate video. But for this one, we're going to be looking at how it looks, how it's shaded, and my personal thoughts on it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are interested in the 2021 set, let me know in the comments below. I'll get started on it because I do have that armor set. That's the, actually the first armor set I ever bought and bought for brightness, I should say. And I like that set a lot, but for the 2022 and the 2023 set, I think these are bangers. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate y'all. You guys are really what makes the channel uh, blow up because you guys watch the content. So I really, really appreciate it. Other than that, let's get into it. So this is the armor. I am really excited for some of these because now that I've done the example sets, I'm kind of excited to use a lot of these pieces uh for the hunter we have the whisper of the victor for the titans it's survival of the strong and for the warlock it's cunning of the contender that's the names of them and let's start off with the hunter the hunter i think has some dope pieces i think the cloak is super cool helmet is by far the most hunter helmet in the game personally for me the arms are super dope and the only pieces i don't like are the chest piece and the boots uh specifically because not only does it shade her pretty bad, but for the chest piece, you see there is the red and yellow, unfortunately, and you see it for the boots as well on above the kneecaps. So that is very unfortunate because uh, and it's not even the fact that it's just those colors. It's just the fact that you can't change those colors because even if when you shade her, it still retains the yellow and red. So for me, it's a, it's a bummer because I don't like pieces that don't have that you can't change the shader of because then it's just annoying. But even then, I do like the boots like they look cool. Uh, just design wise, they look really cool. It's just the fact that it doesn't take shaders well is what's annoying. And for the boots themselves, it actually doesn't take shaders well at all. Um, you'll see some shaders that actually look cool with it, but other shaders don't look really good with it. So you guys will see when we look at the shaders or the Titans. I love it. I think I think all of it is super dope. The helmet easily is going to go on my casual set and it's already on my casual set. It looks super cool. I'm really excited to show you guys that example set, but I, I think the helmet is probably the coolest piece from this whole set. I'm going to be real with you guys. The chest piece is fine. It's kind of on the boring side, but it's fine. The arms are on the smaller side and unfortunately have the uh, the class colors on the actual forearms. Uh, it's This one is super minor. Like I actually noticed it when I was like doing the example set. But yeah, you can see it on the actual forearms inside. So that's very unfortunate. The mark is actually really cool. I didn't do an example set with it, but I think it's really cool because it's just a dick cloth and it's a very small one at that because the back has nothing on it. And then the boots I think are super cool as well. Definitely, definitely super cool. And I did use it in an example set, which because I think it's super cool. The Warlock, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm, I don't know if I like it or not. I definitely think the arms are kind of on the boring side. Uh, if you don't combine it with the chest piece, because it does go with the chest piece, especially that like one little glowy bit, it connects to the glow bit on the actual arm. So if you don't use the arms with the chest piece and it's going to look kind of weird, uh, I still like the examples that I made with it, but even still like just bear with that or bear that in mind, I should say for the chest piece. I think it's super cool. I like, I always like a chest piece that shows the boots. And for this one, it's really, really cool. The boots themselves, I actually think are cool as well. It's just be aware that you're going to have to have a chest piece that has an open uh, face, I guess you would say, basically an open uh, open front. So that way you can you can showcase the boots because I think the boots are super cool. And the bond is boring. I mean, that's to be expected. The bonds are always boring, but the helmet is super cool. I actually really like the helmet. Um, I don't know if actually i was gonna say i don't know if i like it more than last year's but last year's was just such a banger of a helmet that i don't think anything's gonna top that for a while for me so um i answered my own question there i guess as for how it shaders <laughs>
So a few things to note from the shader situation. Uh, as you guys can tell from all of the pieces that have red and yellow, uh, specifically for the Warlock, I think it's only the Bond that has that, which is pretty good considering no one's going to use the Bond. And for the, I think it's the helmet and some of the chess piece for the Warlock. The helmet, you can see it on the stripes on the top. But then for the Warlock, I think it's the like collar at the tips. There's a blue and red, at least from what my eyes are telling me. And actually in the boots themselves as well, all the way up the top though, like right underneath the robe. So there is a little bit, but it's not noticeable enough for me to be like, damn, that sucks. Uh, compared to like the hunters, I think the hunters got the worst of it because it's very in your face. But for the warlocks, like I actually had to like look really deep to see like where, where everything was at, except for the helmet. The helmet's pretty obvious for the Titans. There's also one in the helmet. I just noticed that one uh damn i didn't know i didn't i didn't realize that one was up there uh there's one for the arms like i said and there's probably some other ones that i'm missing but i still think the hunters got the worst of it just because the two are on the stomach that you easily can tell and then uh above the knee pads and they're fucking thick too bro and the other one that i didn't uh didn't tell you is the one on the cloak there's actually a red and yellow one which is very unfortunate not only that the cloak actually takes shaders really really terribly so just be aware of that other than that everything else takes shaders really well like i love what i'm seeing for the colors i think cryptic insignia looks really cool with almost all of these the one that really surprised me though has to be Abyssinian gold on hunter just because i see no brown this is probably the the best black i've noticed from Abyssinian gold to be fair though Abyssinian gold is taking the right colors for or at least the armor is taking the right colors for Abyssinian gold Especially the knee pads that is an off color, which I did not know and It's taking the black. So this is probably gonna be one of the best black shaders. Not only that um, It's really cool because our, you already have that red in there for the Titans color But the yellow I could probably ignore and just use Abyssinian for all of this because it looks really cool um yeah it's so wild that it, sh it takes shaders this way not only that you do notice the few off colors here for the titans and the warlock specifically for the titans it's going to be a lot of the chest piece and arms are taken off colors for the armor same thing for the warlocks it's going to be a lot of the boots especially specifically the thighs and the knee pads and the uh feet uh buckles uh because the shin guard has that brown so that's not the off color and then for the chest piece, it's actually going to be part of the plate is black and the other plate uh, color is going to be brown. So just be aware of that. And yeah, I'm, I'm liking what the colors that I'm seeing right now. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think the ones that like kind of the weakest, it has to be Ancient Wisdom. Ancient Wisdom looks pretty bad on all of these, except maybe the Warlock chest piece. Um, and Echoed Anger. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think Echoed Anger is a perfect example of the Hunter Boots taking the weird colors. I, I feel like if it was if the red part was white and the white part was red, I think that would have been a lot better. But that's also kind of like the thing about these boots. It's just that you're going to notice sometimes the shaders really look, look really, really good. And sometimes it does not look good. Uh, unfortunately, the shaders that I chose are showing uh, the good colors for the boots for the hunter because there's other shaders that will still have the hunter insignias in there. And it just looks kind of weird. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the armor in the comments below. I really like a lot of these armor sets to be fair. Um, I, I, th I thought they were going to be bangers when I first saw them. I was like, the cloak for the hunter looks so fucking cool. Unfortunately, his shaders pretty shitty, but everything else looks amazing. The, that helmet is by far one of the most hunter helmets in the game. The arms are super cool. The boots are super cool. Chest piece is eh, it, it's fine. Like I can definitely use it in sets, but um. I think a lot of these pieces are bangers. Titans, the helmet is so cool, especially for a casual set, which I've made. Uh, the chest piece is fine. The arms are cool. A uh, little on the uh, like thinner side, but I think they're still cool. I think the best pieces are going to be the boots and the mark. I think the mark is going to be utilized in a lot of sets just because it's very minimal. And then for the warlocks, the helmet is super cool. The chest piece is super cool. The boots are super cool. I think the only weak points are going to be the arms and the bond. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Again, be ready for those individual sets because I am really excited for it to the point where I've already made all of them. They're all right here. Um, All of them are right here. So I'm just going to have to do all these videos today and tomorrow, hopefully it's because I work Friday. So 
Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe, and I will see you guys later.